Hey everyone, this is Disc Junkie, and today I'm back to show you The Mist, and this is the three disc limited collector's edition from Germany. Now, I'm not entirely sure how limited this is, I seem to remember reading that it's like 1000 copies, but right now I can't, for the love of my life, find that information. So, if anybody knows how limited this was, feel free to tell me and, you know, update the info in the underbar or whatever. But anyway, the looks box set comes with a kind of cool lenticular or, you know, three-dimensional hand in the background there, goes in and out. We got an exterior cardboard box, sort of half glossy, if not matte at least, I'll tell you that. You can just check the sides here. And this is, by the way, this is all printed. Uh, so, just so you know what you're looking at. So, the back and the sides are all printed. But here on the front, we actually have a cutout. Right in the lid here. And I'll just lift this up and you'll see what I mean. So, there you go. This is the cardboard lid. And then behind the lid here, we have what is actually a plastic piece. Which is uh, sort of half see-through like mist type thing but you know this isn't a slip case or anything I just want to clear that up it's as you can tell it's basically just a piece of plastic to sort of give a bit of depth to the uh, image uh, which is you know right down here and that depth sort of creates uh, you know m much more of a feel to it so uh, yeah it's pretty pretty interesting idea though I don't really understand why this wasn't like glued or somehow attached to this but I don't mind it's a really cool case in my opinion and so next up we have this you know I thought this would be part of the front cover that it would actually be stuck there but this is actually just a loose really thin uh, you know piece of plastic but as you can tell you know it's it's quite cool I really like this I mean if you want to you can actually display this on its own I don't know why you would want to but yeah looks really good and then behind it, there is actually a piece of black paper, or well, actually two, come to think of it. And this is just because these images are in fact, uh, you know, sort of slightly transparent. I mean, if I hold my hand behind it, you can actually see my fingers. So the reason they put the black paper is just so, you know, there, nothing will be shining through. That's basically the reason why these are in here. Here we have a piece of cardboard which was originally uh, stuck to the back of the case, of the outer case. And here you also have the numbering. Each copy is numbered. Come to think of it, it can't really be 1000 copies, can it? Seeing as this is number 5952. So I don't know, maybe it's 10,000 copies. Like I said, if you know the exact limitation, let me know because it doesn't actually say how many copies in total. So yeah. But this was just a piece of cardboard and this was actually, you actually see that we got partial sticker here and a partial sticker up there. So it was actually stuck over the back cover and the stickers were actually stuck on the on the lid. So you had to remove the stickers in order to open the box. And you know that's a bit of a flaw in my opinion. And I know that you know I got Mr. for one of these uh, as a gift and he really had problems getting the sticker off without sort of losing some of the finish or you know making damage. Uh, and especially on the cardboard piece, so I actually decided to cut the sticker and, you know, keep it on here, because, I mean, I started trying to rip it off, and I just realized, you know, you're just going to ruin the cardboard on this, so you might as well keep it on there. However, you know, for the lid, I actually managed to get that off without losing any of the finish, so that's good, but you, you still have to be really careful removing these stickers, so a fair warning to anyone who buys this. Next up, inside the box, this feels a bit luxurious, doesn't it? And that makes it really easy to take out the diggy pack. Just showing you quick what the box looks like. As you can tell, you got, you know, these really, really cheap, thin cardboard papery support. I don't know why they made the cardboard box like, you know, it, it's like millimeters uh, larger than the that standard diggy pack size. I mean, what was the point? Why didn't they just, you know, like cut the, the whole lenticular image and, and the whatever, just make that the exact same si size as the digipack? I don't get it. 
it, it's just weird. Next up, let's take a look at the Diggy Pack. Finally, because I know I'm always rambling on. So here we got the front cover. So there we got the back. Let's just pull this out. And overall, I think this is a really it's a really nice design. I mean, I think they they put a lot of thought into it. Still, I gotta say that the artwork on this, the printing here, isn't all that detailed. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but you know the the background image and even the handprint, uh, it's not very high resolution. It's you know sort of pixely and grainy, and it might be intentional, but I just feel that you know at least the handprint and like the printing here should have been a little bit sharper, because. I don't know, it doesn't really come off as intentional, it just comes off as, yeah, a bit of a poor image quality. Got the nice artwork there, and I'm just gonna go through this stuff. Here we got a small postcard. Here is actually a fold-out poster. As you can tell, it's just a classic theatrical poster image. And then there's also this, which is actually a fourth disc, but this is really uninteresting. It's actually just a bonus disc, and it's a promotional disc which basically just, you know, advertises, uh, I'm guessing it's just, you know, it's like trailers uh, for some other movies released by the same company, so not too special, but it was included, so might as well mention it. And then we can just remove the discs, so you can get a clear shot of the background artwork here. I gotta say, this is actually it's quite nice, it looks really nice. And once again, though, the, the overall image quality is quite grainy. But, yeah, it's still still very well chosen, I think, and it does work, so, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Uh, I'm guessing you would be too if you picked it up, you know, it's, it's a nice design, I gotta say. Plus, I'm also a real sucker for, like, the whole multi-layer approach. I always love it when they have, like, plastic slip cases and see-through, and, you know, it, it's it's just a clever design, I think. They really made use of uh, a lot of interesting choices here. But there you go. And, uh, oh yeah, before I go, I do have to mention the plastic, the plastic piece here. Originally, there was actually a rating logo here, which is a sticker, and it's a pretty big rating logo. I mean, if you know anything about German editions, you've seen these before. Uh, and uh, I know Mistifo had a lot of problems taking his sticker off and it left an incredible residue on his. Uh, I actually managed to get my sticker off without losing, you know, any finish, without getting any residue, just, you know, carefully taking it off and then sort of, you know, keep going back, sort of just sponging up the rest of the residue, so... It worked out for me, but still a bit of a warning there. But that's it from me today, and thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you all next time.